Hey everyone, Pekanese here, and I'm back with my mascot cat buddy Dango. Thanks for clicking on this video. So, first of all, sorry if you hear like wind hitting against my windows because it's really, really windy here, and I was kind of going to procrastinate on recording this voiceover, but then I just thought, ah, oh, it's okay, I'll just let you guys know that it's windy. <laughs> It's been quite a while since I last uploaded a video. I can't re really remember when my last upload was, but I, I know it's been a couple of weeks at least. And the reason for that is because I got a full-time job. And I haven't started the position yet, but I'm kind of like preparing for that and doing other things before the job actually starts. So I won't be able to keep up with my previous upload schedule of one video a week but I'm thinking of just doing one video a month because I intend on keeping up with my bullet journaling and if I'm bullet journaling I might as well be filming it because editing doesn't really take that long for me so yeah we'll see how it goes if you want to like keep up with what I'm up to and stuff I post not like super regularly but more regularly than YouTube on my other social media like Instagram and Twitter if you wanted to give them a follow. Um, they're both at pekanese underscore art. I'll also have them linked in the description box. So yeah, I'll probably just be sticking with monthly videos for now. And if I feel like I have more free time, I'll probably draw a little bit, bit more or bullet journal a little bit more and film them and upload them to YouTube. But yeah, for now, just the monthlies. So, for November, I didn't film my sketching. I usually film from like the penciling and like googling for references all the way to like painting, inking, blah blah blah. But this time, I didn't have that much time, so I just sketched in my spare time, not on my actual filming desk. So that's why I don't have the pencil. And this theme for November, I'm doing budgies because I wanted something that's like really fun and colorful and I have a pet budgie so yeah I thought it's just really perfect also November is supposed to be like spring in New Zealand it doesn't feel like it right now because it's like kind of stormy these days it rains like 90% of the week there might be like one day that's sunny but then it's like super windy and then it's like you know, typical Auckland, like hailing and rain, thunder, lightning, sunshine, rainbows, all in one day. So, yeah, that's kind of <laughs> October's weather. So I don't know how spring-like November will be, but we'll see. So for my cover page, I doodled some super stylized budgies. They're basically just like little orbs, like circles with sometimes feathers on them and like a face and a beak. I think they're cute though. And I also doodled a little bit of like feathers here and there, which is basically just like a blob of gouache paint and then I um, outlined it with pen so that it looks like a feather. These doodles are actually really easy to do and they're super colorful because budgies are like they come in unlimited amount of colors. There's like the basic one's green with like a yellow face, I think, and then there's like green with white face, and then there's like blue ones, turquoise, purple, pink, cloud ones, grey, like there's so many. But I just stuck with the kind of three main-ish, not really main, main, but you know, main colours of budgies, the green and blue and purple. I picked purple because I used to have a purple budgie as well, so it was kind of like an homage to my purple budgie. But yeah, ever since I started using gouache in my bullet journal, I've kind of been addicted to using gouache in my bullet journal and I just like want to bullet journal just so that I can use the gouache. I mean, I can use gouache in other areas as well, but it's just, I don't know why it's so fun using it in my bullet journal, but for some reason it is. One goal for November in my bullet journal for me was saving as many pages as possible. And I have always been looking out on Pinterest and Instagram for journal spreads that I can fit two weeks into like two pages, so kind of like one week per page or something like that. And 
so that I don't have to use a lot of pages but the designs I've been finding have always felt really cramped but the one I did for this month for November's one I think will work quite well. I actually really like the aesthetic of it but you'll see my weekly spread a little bit later on in the video. So for my monthly overview, um, my squares for each day is quite small, mostly because all of my scheduling, like important meetings or like going out, scheduled going out times or whatever, they're all in my phone. So I don't usually refer back to my bullet journal. My I use my bullet journal for mostly like to-do lists and things like that and like kind of an art outlet because it forces me to make art even if I'm in like a busy schedule or I'm in like a art slump kind of thing. So I don't really need a massive space for my monthly overview and that's why my monthly view can just like squeeze into half a page and then or like two-thirds of a page and then I can add my trackers underneath it. I still use this um, to put my schedules in, like transfer it from my phone, but the main place that I put schedules in is in my phone and then I transfer it to my bullet journal so that if I'm like talking to someone on the phone and they're like, oh, well, when are you free? I can look at my bullet journal and then, yeah. I'm still kind of struggling with what I want to put in my habit trackers because I want to make like reading and stuff into a habit but I can tell that I'm not actively trying to make it into a habit if that makes sense like I know I should be reading but I'm on my phone instead or I could be reading but I'm on YouTube or Netflix instead and like I'm trying to think of a way that motivates me a bit more to actually make these into a habit and habit trackers aren't doing it for me. I make it anyway, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below how you develop habits or like tips and tricks on how to develop habits or something like that, because I really need that. So for my mood tracker, um, I drew budgies and I'm going to be coloring them in with my coloring pencils. These coloring pencils are like super old. I've had them since I was living in Japan. So they're at least like 15 years old, like at least. 
And you can tell which one my favorite color was as a child because that sky blue color, um, it's super small. But yeah, I wanted to color them in with my coloring pencils because if I was to color them in with gouache, then I probably won't be bothered doing my mood trackers. And I did, didn't want to use my Crayola Super Tips because I don't have that many colors of the Super Tips and I couldn't find a color that I really liked for the budgies. So I drew one, two, three, four, five branches and I have like six, I think, budgies perched on top of them. And each of them is going to be different color depending on the mood. And yeah, I'm really excited to see how what, what color they turn out to be. I was kind of like hesitant assigning colors to them because, I, well, I chose green for like sad and blue for happy, but it, it's not like I don't like green budgies or anything like that. So yeah, it's, I kind of felt bad for bad budgies, but maybe um, I'll be happy all the time and it'll just be filled with blue and dark blue budgies. Well, we'll find out. Let me know down in the comments below what theme you're doing for November because I feel like October a lot of people do like pumpkins and like fall stuff and in November people do like Christmas and like snowy stuff but I can't really think of what people might do for November. It's kind of like the in-between festivities month where it's like awkward. I don't know, maybe in other countries there's like different celebrations or seasonal things that happen in November and I just don't know about it. So yeah, let me, do, let me know down in the comments below what you're doing for your November theme because I'm really curious. As you can see, I kind of got bored of inking the budgies because it was so repetitive that I just like went into paint the budgies in gouache. So now we get to the weekly spread 
Um, I'm just doing a little calendar at the top. I actually forgot that I used to do these earlier in, when I started bullet journaling and then for some reason I dropped it, but it was really helpful so I brought it back. I'm just writing MTW like the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the middle of the page. And the top half is one week and the bottom half is another week. So this way I can fit two weeks into two pages which is a huge, huge page saver. And also, I feel like there's a lot of space to write, even though I've crammed two weeks into one page with this style of layout. And I have like an extra Friday, Saturday, Sunday in the top right, because there was like an extra weekend left over from leftover in the month. Like it's kind of in, like it's attached to October, like yeah. And same with the previous spreads, I'm just doodling little budgies and feathers here and there and I'm coloring them in with my gouache and I also outline them afterwards with my fine liner. I'm really liking this um, green and brown Crayola Super Tip color combination. It's, it kind of feels really like foresty and also like kind of relaxing and yeah I just really like it. It feels really like calm and yeah. So since I'm doing two weeks in one, well, one big spread, I only have two pages or like four pages in total for my weekly spreads. So the next page is also my weekly sp spread and it's the same layout as the previous page, but it's just in a slightly different format like not format the doodles are slightly different and that's about it so that it's not like a completely repetitive thing but yeah I think I might change to this um, weekly layout if I like it and if there's enough space for me to write things because I really like the aesthetic of having like art in the middle and stuff around it which I had been doing in, in the past couple of months I think if you want to check them out I'll leave a link for my September and October plan with me so that you can go check it out October was Harry Potter theme so and it was also a bullet journal collab so you should definitely definitely check that out it's pretty cool if I do say so myself and anyway yeah for October I also had like art in the middle and then I wrote around it but it was well I kind of would have liked a little bit more structure to where I was able to write because I kind of often wrote into the next day without realizing and stuff like that but this way I'll just write like above or below the letter of the week so I think it'll work out nicely I don't usually post um, like after I've filled out the month, but maybe I will. So if I was to post it, I'll put it on my Instagram. So make sure you definitely follow my Instagram. And that's about it. I hope you had fun watching this video and watching me doodle like little budgies over and over again. Please let me know down in the comments below what um, theme you're doing for November and also let me know what kind of weather it is where you are because it's supposed to be spring here and it's super stormy, rainy and like it doesn't feel like spring at all. The cherry blossoms can't even bloom and sink <laughs> because the weather has been so outrageous. Um, yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at pekanese underscore art 
and yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.